Welcome to Engineering World guys. Today in this tutorial we will discuss about Stirling water tube boilers. Table of content which we are discussing in this tutorial is what is Stirling tube boiler, parts of Stirling water tube boiler, working of Stirling water tube boiler, advantages and disadvantages of Stirling water tube boiler. If you want to read this article and also want to get this PDF you can visit my website link is in the description and if you want to get jobs related to boiler engineering and mechanical engineering I have uploaded many jobs in my website you can go to website and then click on job section you will find jobs related to boiler and mechanical engineering so before going to the lecture if you are first time on my channel it is request to you to subscribe the channel and press the bell notification to get latest updates regarding mechanical engineering and boiler engineering and to get notification of all of my lectures please press the icon so let's start the lecture what is a stirling water tube boiler stirling water tube boiler is a type of water tube boiler which use multiple drums these drums are connected with different types of tubes these boilers produce more steam in a lower time due to a good circulation of water these boilers are naturally circulated boilers next Parts of Stirling water tube boiler Approximately it's all the same as other water tube boiler but here we will discuss about some different parts which are used in Stirling water tube boiler. The parts are multiple steam drums, circulation tubes, equalizing tubes and generation tubes. Multiple steam drums Normal water tube boiler usually use two drums one of them is called as steam drum and the other is called as mud drum. But so Stirling water tube boiler use multiple drums. They can be 3 to 7 according to the boiler size and quantity of steam which is required to generate. Required these drums are connected with each other with the help of circulation and equalizing tubes. Next is circulation tubes. Circulation tubes are used in Stirling water tube boilers for continuous circulation of water. These tubes play a very important role in this type of boiler because water circulation in Stirling water tube boiler is a very good feature of this boiler which separate it from all types of other boilers. Next is equalizing tubes. Equalizing tubes has two functions in Stirling water tube boiler. The first function of equalizing tubes is to connect steam drum and the second function of equalizing tubes is they can uh, they help to flow of water with circulation tubes next one is generation tubes as the name shows that these tubes are used for steam generation in boilers these tubes are placed in the way of flue gases so they can absorb more heat and they can produce steam very quickly Next is working of Stirling water tube boiler. Stirling water tube boiler is also a water tube boiler. Multiple drums are placed in this type of boiler and these drums can be assembled upward and downward according to the different types of designs. In Stirling water tube boiler different types of tubes are used to connect these drums. The quantity of water of steam is drum is approximately remains same but it can also vary due to circulation of water. Water is charged in the drum which is assembled in low temperature area and this generated steam is extracted from Stirling water tube boiler from a suitable drum. We can ex extract steam from any of the drum but uh, we will dis uh, check which drum is supported us for getting a high steam rate and which drum is producing where which drum is storing steam with a maximum energy. In this boiler flue gases have to travel long distance due to baffle plates. Due to this more heat can be absorbed by the tubes. The upper drums are hanged with steam columns in this boiler and the other drums are hanged with these drums. The more quiet drums are hanged with upper drums with the help of tubes. Due to this hanging structure, all the parts of this boiler can be expanded and shrink easily 
and all these tubes are covered with a fire bricks wall which is called as external fire brick wall or furnace of boiler our next topic is advantages and disadvantages of sterling water tube boiler first we will discuss about advantages the advantages are due to more number of drums high steam is produced the second advantage is it is high pressure operation with less steam drop the third advantage is sterling boiler provide free expansion and shrinkage due to bent tubes the fourth advantage is sterling water tube boiler provide flexible in design and disadvantages of sterling water tube boiler first disadvantage is cleaning and inspection is difficult due to st structure second disadvantage is sterling boilers are large in size and the third disadvantage is temperature in superheater is limited in sterling water tube boilers thanks for watching this video please like and share the video and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want to get pdf or want to read this article please visit my website link is in the description and if you have any questions regarding to boiler and mechanical engineering or about this lecture you can ask in comment section